Okay, people, we are about to begin the boss fight. Charlie, yeah. here is what you are going to do. And welcome back, everybody, to another MF10 production with another. Okay, no Arctic time for that dumbass introduction. Everyone already knows why the hell they're here. Uh, to watch me scream and shout and die? Clearly. No. To actually win for once in your fucking life, you pathetic waste of shit. Wait, I'm gonna okay. win? Maybe. <laughs> if you follow my directions. Okay. I want you standing over there by Flesh Wren's feet. You understand me? Am I ever able to follow directions? Uh, yes, and he is closer still in the circle. No, yes. closer. Closer to him. Closer and closer and closer and closer, closer and closer, 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 closer into the circle, you s Oh, okay. Yeah, so you don't get left behind. Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to activate this portal, big globe's gonna appear over it, and everything inside's supposed to teleport in. You, as soon as you can, get on Flesh Rend and get ready for a fight. So as soon as the globe I... goes over, get on him. Right? No, as no. soon as you teleport. Okay. Just You'll be in the arena. Just get on Flesh Rend and start buffing. I'll handle the rest. All right. Okay, <sighs> here we go. God help us if we crash. Up to 10 survivors and 20 teams allowed teleporting in 20 seconds. Uh oh. What? Deodon's a little far out. So is Fleshrin. Uh, I think he'll make it in. It's like if right on the edge just, of his feet. If he don't, just grab the Rex. Okay. I mean, he's mostly in. It's mostly his tail that's out. And, like, the back part of his feet. Oh, there's a teleport. Yep, there's the teleport. Okay. Um. Think this is flesh rate? Yep, flesh rate. Grab actually, some buff, get some kill! Do I actually have to be looking at them to, um. Uh, no. No, it's just AoE. Yeah, just. Yeah, be looking in their general direction, Charlie. Are we losing Rexes? No, they're just splintering off because there's a whole bunch of baby spiders. Oh, okay. It's Don't worry that, about it. It's saying that the Rex is killing things. Okay. Yeah, keep buffing, Charlie. Keep buffing. Speed Mutt? Who named him Speed Mutt? This is it's kind of a neat area. Speed Mute! Oh. That's a really neat arena. Ooh, I got an achievement, and I learned some stuff. Yep, those are the tech ingrams. Now, hopefully, one of these Rexes picked up a um, a batch of element for us. All right, uh, what do I do with this picture? Uh, it's like a just card. Exit it out. Don't worry about it. You're gonna want to get off your tame, though. It forced me off of it. Uh, well, then hop off. I am. So you just beat your first boss. How's it feel? Uh, my dick is still really soft, so I don't think it did it. Please punch me out of my misery. Ouch. <laughs> I'm happy no, I'm not it. punching you out of your misery because it may mess something up. I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, after I tell you this, you probably this is will. The, this is the easy experience. This is actually the easiest experience you can get. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Um, no, no, um, after I tell you this, you might... You might, um, punch me to death. What? Can you guess what the new Minecraft series I started was called? No, and I'm not really interested in it. No, but it's, it's super what stupid. What is it? Come it's, on. It, it's literally Out called, with it. it's literally called, um, something boys. I think it was called For the Boys or something like that. Fuck, I don't remember. The, the server had a really weird name, and I just pretty much named it as the Boys SMP. That's what it is. What it was called. Why am I stuck? You're stuck because it basically spawns everything in at this location. Yeah, well, we may have Rexes that went sent flying when we teleported. I'm. It sometimes happens. Okay, so here's what we got to do now. We gotta go looking through all these Rexes and dinosaurs inventory, making sure... Actually, I gotta turn off this thing's passive healing. Okay, that's good. And look for, uh, 
element. A giant spider head. And some element. Now, this was the easiest experience I could have given you. That battle is very straightforward and hard to fuck up. Oh, trust me, I'd find a way. No, you really couldn't find a way to fuck it up with a team like this. Now, without a Deodon, we would have sustained much higher damage, but we definitely still would have passed with flying colors. And without a Yutai, uh, or rather, Flesh Rend, well, again, we would have sustained much higher damage, but we still would have passed. These Rexes were stat bred, with one purpose in mind, high, ha high stamina, high health, high melee, and high weight. They literally can do pretty much anything your heart desires. Uh, ooh, what is ah, this? Ah, I found it! Found it. Okay. The element and the spider head. So we got 20 element for that. Okay, which I means an or... What? Found mind wipe tonic. A recipe. No, that's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. 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 Now we assemble the dinosaurs that were not originally here. The Domination Rex, the Deodon, and Fleshrend. And we leave the Rexes here to stew upon their victory. Let's see, where's Fleshrend? I got him. Giant... Okay, you got Fleshrend? Well, you may have trouble getting him out. I'd hop off him. That's what I say, I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to be able to move him out. He's in the core. I can't even get out when I'm on top of him. Well, don't worry about it. Okay, and you there got you the go. day dawn out. Yep. Yeah, this is the standard practice of boss running. Believe me, because the first time running these things in here took forever. I could believe it, too. Yep. So, uh, I guess we'll head back to the house, and we can hang up our first boss trophy and put this element somewhere safe. Sure. All right. Uh, do I need to go back to your house first? Uh, no, no, no. No, you're just going to... You're gonna walk Run by it. Yeah, it won't take as long as you're probably thinking it will. Uh, this way? Yeah, this way. Okay, now that it's daytime, everything's really, really bright. Doesn't seem very bright to me. Uh, it must be foggy, too. Well, you may be up in the cloud layer. I'm not even above the trees, hardly. Well, you do have to realize that the cloud layer is actually lower in tropical climates. This way. There's a, uh, a thing on top of the volcano. God, I'm lagging. Oh, why are you doing that? Did it? Well, because I have crappy internet connection and am running through some of the most dangerous territory in all the island. For the distant sight of Red Obelisk. I can't even see the obelisk. You can't see the obelisk and you're in the air? I think that might be it right there, but yeah, that's it right there. Just everything's so bright. Uh, low on stamina. I really wish the wyverns would glide down. No, they don't glide, Charlie. They fly. Not gliding. And believe me. And believe me, unless your wings are made of steel, you aren't going to glide down when you weigh over 500 pounds.
Besides, you better get used to tough landing conditions. Because when we decide to go to extinction, you won't get a slow fall back to the surface. You'll just drop straight out of the air and die. Because that's just, how things work on extinction. I just ate uh, a dinosaur in midair. Well, that, that's something to be expected. It was one of those really slow moving ones. Pteranodons. Uh, the one that Castle in the Sky is. Quetzal? Yeah, those. Hmm. Yeah, there's just one major downside to the Domination Rex. Which is... They're slow as all crap in the water. I can believe and it. And I got one little passageway of water to cross. It's not very deep, thankfully. So how close are you to reaching Red Ob? I'm already there. Oh, I'm, kill okay, I'm well. killing elephants. Oh, well, I'm about to be at Red Ob. So, you see, I suppose while you're waiting for me to get back home, um, I could explain to you what the whole meaning of all that gathered on the obelisk is. Sure. So, what you're seeing on Red Obelisk is a, um, well, it's a tactical assortment of dinosaurs made specifically for fighting the dragon boss. Ah. Yeah. So, firstly, as you can see here, um, these are the Therizinosaurs. Now, they're herbivores meaning that they actually take less damage from explosions and they have less damage from fire. They also have damage output comparable to a T-Rex. Okay. Now, these are magmasaurs. Their purpose is essential in the Dragon Boss because their whole deal is they are completely immune to fire. Yep, As a matter of fact, fire me that. even helps them. Now, this, fu this fire immunity also comes with a second bonus to it. They can, in fact, ignite the dragon with their own fire, uh -huh. and they can produce a pink fog that makes wild dinosaurs attack them. I, um, I've spotted something down here. You mean the Diplodocus in the water? Oh, the the big thing over there, whatever that's called. That's, the Diplodocus on the shore. Yeah. Yes, that. Yeah, here. Let, let me just take care of that. I want it to. Ah. Charlie, don't fuck with the Dimorphodon. They'll actually attack you. Okay. Yeah, those little flying pterosaurids, they will bite you and not your wyvern. Oh. I'm going to continue eating shit. Yeah, so... Uh, Charlie, I'd be careful, because that's not your normal everyday, uh, raptor. There's a raptor? Oh yeah, that is a raptor. That's also... an alpha raptor. I see this. You want to try and kill it? Absolutely. I actually tried Here. to push him into the megalodon too. Here, I'll back you up if you don't, if you don't think you can ha handle it. Push him. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. 
He did a lot more damage than you expected, didn't he? Hell no, he hardly hurt him. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me let me show you something with this little compy. That number of damage. Yeah, it's an instant kill attack, but it's got to be of a drag weight very low. But it does get a healing buff from it. Oh, that was that old sign. You remember the time I picked you up with the giant squid? Yeah. Are you trying to hide from me now? I think it's so fast. How do you think I managed to make it to the red obelisk from green ob so fast? I actually thought you said they were slow. No, you said they're slow through water. Yeah, they are slow through water. I only had to go through one little stretch. Did you kill the Brachiosaur to not eat him? Yeah, my inventory was full of meat. Don't worry, I ate him. Journeyman's metal pick. Yeah, that's not really much. No, but I think it's better than my other one. What color is your other one? I think it's green. It's better. But if it's yellow, it's worse. Talk about my old one? Uh, whatever pick you use. I don't know. But yeah, so, tell me, how underwhelmed do you feel about your first boss fight? Eh. You expected it to last a lot longer, right? I'd give it two cookies out of three. Well, here's the thing about that. That's the easiest boss that you could possibly have got. And I didn't even make you run through all the caves to get to it. That would have been difficult. Yes. Caves would have definitely been difficult for me. Yeah, the caves would have been very difficult. Alright, so my old pick was... No, it was yellow. A Mastercraft. Yeah, I know, because I gave it to you. Let me see here. What do I need? Need 80 cementing paste and I need 200 wood. Where do we have wood? I'll check the beaver. I got some wood over here. I got 361. There we go. Okay, I think I know the perfect spot where we can hang this. What? Charlie, come yep. over here by the fireplace, if you will. All right. Uh-huh. Are you giving me nightmares? Yeah, you're going to give me nightmares. Thanks. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh great! Thanks, Skybacks. You're in the way. Yeah, and I'm also gonna 
put this 20 element right here in the fabricator. Hmm. Would you like to see the element, Charlie? Sure. Is it is it molten? No. Oh. Just look in the fabricator. It'll be in the last slot. But don't go taking it out, because you'll lose it. Yeah, that's not at all what I thought it looked like. Yeah, doesn't look at all like that. I don't remember there being a door there. Door where? Right here. I told you I put it there. Alright, so what boss is next? Oh, uh, well, we, we aren't going to be fighting another boss this session. Okay. I mean, if you're gang-ho on bosses, uh, I could point us in the right direction for the Megapithecus. He may actually manage to kill a few Rexes, in fact. Technically speaking, before we can even get started with Element, yep. using Element and Tech, um, what we really have to do is get a hold of a, well, at least a hundred Element, and right now we don't have nearly enough. I mean, we... how, how hard is it to fight? Something over and over. Well, we would have to fight the Broodmother on the Gamma difficulty five times. Ah. And I can assure you we would have to wait a significant amount of time between battles for the Rexes to heal up and for the Deodon to actually get enough food. This thing's range is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Yeah. Because it's not meant to be a big fucking area. It's not. Oh, I, I tamed this D Diplo for you, though. Diplo? Well. My wyvern just flew off. Yeah, I don't know why you whistled that, but whatever. I whistled him to the ground. Diplo. Yeah, I tamed this Diplo for you. Why? I thought you'd have fun with him. I think that thought those were cannons on the side. No, they're chairs. Sprint. Sprint? Yeah, sprint. It didn't break through. No, it doesn't break through the wall. Now, let me tell you what the Diplo is capable of doing. Okay. It has the highest knockback of any creature in Ark. It has no damage. So it can't hurt nothing. Yeah, it can't physically harm anything. And what's sad is I used to think our statues were big. Yeah, no, sauropods were some of the biggest creatures on Earth. So, what are you thinking? You want to try and go for another boss? Uh, we can. Well, if we're going to go for another boss, we might as well go for the Gamma Monkey. Ooh, a monkey. Yeah, the Megapithecus. Hey, wait a second. Hold on. Some just landed in the base. Mm, what? It's Pelagornis. Let me see what level it is. It's only level five. Oh. What's interesting is these things normally never actually land, period. Their AI tells them that land is a bad idea and that they're supposed to stay in the water. But they do have one unique skill. Uh -huh. They can land on water. Mm. So, in other words, I don't need to eat this. Hmm. To be honest, it's something this low of a level it wouldn't be of any use. You can eat it if you want. 
didn't even get to bite it first. Yeah, I mean, if it was like a level 150 that showed up, I'd say, oh, wow. Yeah, we're taming this. But no, it was a level, you know, <laughs> five. Okay, well, give me a second, and I'll figure out what uh, artifacts we're going to need to get a hold of for the Gamma Monkey. Okay. Okay. So... Okay. Okay, well, we got a problem. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to go and get the monkey this session. We're not going to be able to fight the monkey this session, I can guarantee it. I could believe that. Yeah, uh, well, so first up is the Artifact of the Brute. Okay. The Artifact of the Brute takes place in... Uh, is hidden in either the Cavern of Lost Hope or the Cavern of Lost Faith. Ah. Uh. And then the Artifact of the Devourer is hidden in the other. And then there's the Artifact of the Pack. The hell are these fish? Uh, are they long and have a big mouth? Uh, they're long and glowing. That is an Abyssal Zyphactinus. How deadly are they? Uh, well, seeing as how they're not supposed to be up this high in the water table, not very. But, um... They can still give you a nasty nip. Well, I mean, they're kind of landed. Actually, these would be easy tames. Uh, you say that, but, uh, you don't have anything... No, 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 what I'm saying is they wouldn't really be able to get away. No, you, you're not, you're not really understanding what I'm saying here. Uh, you don't have anything that deals enough torpor d to damage ratio that wouldn't kill them. I could believe that. Yeah. You see, taming a dinosaur in Ark is difficult when you're wanting to tame creatures like that. Because for a start, you'd pull out a crossbow and shoot it a few times with a trank arrow. Well, the problem is, the trank arrow does enough damage that it might actually kill the animal before you're able to successfully knock it out. So... Really, what you would need is a high-damage long neck rifle or a harpoon launcher firing uh, narcotic darts or narcotic harpoons. And sadly, we don't have anything like that. I have something like that, but we don't. See, this is part of the whole thing about us getting a navy. Now... The Cavern of Lost Hope and the Cavern of Lost Faith. There's a reason I brought this up. Um, those are both aquatic caves. Yep. As in, the entire composition of the cave is made for a water dino. And personally, there's really only one good place to start. You did not just see where I just killed a Carno, okay? You did not just see that. Just ignore that message. Killed a what? Carno. What about a Carno? I said you, you didn't just see the message where I killed a Carno. Just ignore it. Wh why is that relevant? It's not. I'm assuming you can see all these messages. I can see every time you kill something. That's only when we're close together. Oh, well, um, I killed a car now. <laughs> yeah, I went back to the other house and I grabbed my wyvern, by the way. 
I'm flying around just kind of killing stuff. More big fish. And they're killing yeah. other fish. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be out up here. Uh, well, some Zyphactinus are. There's actually two variants that are supposed to spawn on the island. One is called the uh, Zyphactinus, and the other is called the Abyssal Zyphactinus. Abyssal ones are supposed to be more like anglerfish deep down in the water. Yeah, those are the ones that I saw that glue, that were glowing. Yeah, they're the ones that glow, yeah. Oh man, I almost got a, um, a Megalodon, but he bounced his way back into the water. Yeah. So, should we try and tame us a navy? Sure. Well, if we're going to tame us a navy, we got to have a location. Okay. Okay, let, let me explain. So... Fish live in the water. Uh-huh. And? No, that's it. Fish live in the water. Well, in order to have a navy with aquatic creatures that will help us, you know, play the damn game, we're going to have to have a location adjacent to the water preferably on shore where we can keep our aquatic tames so we will not be worried about them being killed by all manner of you know jellyfish and xyphactinus and just generally unfriendly creatures uh just build it near the um the uh what's it called if you're saying that we should the coastline. basically... Well, building it near the coastline comes with its own complications. Really, you need to be here, and we need to plan where we're going to put this. Hold on, I'm killing a whale. Why are you trying to kill a whale with a dragon? Because he beached himself. Does it have a big sperm whale head or a humpback whale head? Um, I wish I knew that. I know, he can't oh. get away. Okay, sperm whale head looks like a brick. I think it's sperm whale then. Be careful, that thing can do bleed damage. I think it was. Well, be careful. It's kind of a big flat forehead. Yeah, a very big flat forehead. Was its lower jaw very thin and small and long? As um, soon as he comes back up some, I, I can tell you, he's kind of just freaking out. Does he have a really floppity long tail? Maybe. Hold on. I, I really don't know what the, what the definition of all... Well, I know what the definition is, but I don't... Okay, de okay. the fins on its side. Does it I'm... only have one set? I don't know. It's mostly underwater, and I, it is doing bleed damage, though. Okay, then it's a harbinger. You're fighting a harbinger with a dragon. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, it's not going very well. Yeah, of course it's not. I'm winning, but slowly. Well, I need you to come back to Red Ob as soon as you're done trying to fight a damn whale with a flying with a flying creature. So that we can actually get some productive activities done. I will, as soon as I collect his well blubber. Oh, they don't drop blubber. Oh, what does he drop then? He drops a lot of oil. Is that even useful? Yeah. Okay. If we had a way to turn it into fuel. I'm surprised we don't. Well, I keep saying we need to hunker down and try and make us an industrial forge, but we'd never do. I just thought we were. Nope. Right, so, I think all I got from him was hide. Check again. Nope, yeah, I got a shit ton of all. Yep. I'm coming back. Yeah, okay. I'm only right around the corner, luckily.
And until then, we will see you in the next episode. Bye.